Well, hello, and here today on the Rusty Glove Box, what we're going to do today is I've got a little Lincoln AC-DC welder, old stick rod welder, and I have had it since just about 1990. So you can count the years up just to see how old that is. But anyway, everything was working great. Uh, I had a job that I wanted to use a stick rod on, and all of a sudden I heard a pop, and the fan quit working. Motor. Here's the little fan motor, and it's a 220 motor. And if you get it from Lincoln, it's gonna cost you close to $100. And I thought, that is ridiculous. I says, I I've seen motors like that. So I got on the internet and I found something that I believe is gonna work. Well, here's the little motor right here. It's a range hood motor or venta hood motor. And it even comes with its own little bracket, brand new set of blades. My blades, when I was getting it off, I popped the center out, but in my defense, that plastic was old and brittle. And uh, so having a new set of blades is not a problem for me. The only drawback that I could see with this motor is that it turned the opposite direction and it actually, instead of pushing the air this way, it pulled it back that way. And so I did some looking around and found out that uh, if you take the two screws out, you can take this, flip it around, put it right back on, and then bolt everything back together, and it'll rotate the opposite direction. All right, so we got the little motor put back together, and we're going to do a test on it. We're just going to see if uh, swapping that coil around makes a difference. And there we go. It's blowing up now, not blowing down. So swipping that, switching the coil around makes all the difference. And then that way you'll be able to use this motor on the uh, welder as a cooling fan. Now originally this motor bolted in like that right there with the fan blades up above it, up here. But with my new motor, with the uh, bracket, I'm going to remove this bracket and use my new motor bracket. I'll have to drill a couple of holes in there to uh, bolt that bracket up. All right, it's going to be hard to get down in there to drill some holes, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that existing bolt and I'm going to anchor one end right there and then that's going to bring this end up here and I can easily get to it to drill a hole and then I can mount my fan bracket. You know, and I talk about running this motor off of 120, even though this is a 220 welder. And this is where the power comes in. The power cord's right here. It comes in, ties into your front switch. And here on this wire, right there is a, uh, 120 leg of the 220 here on the opposite side is the other one I only use one leg of that to power the fan and that's what I'm doing here and the ground wire I just tie it in to where my original grounds are all uh, located so anyway uh, another thing is use this bolt on the inside that way you can swing this up and it's easier to get to to uh, to drill I mean it's not okay let's try this out yeah that's turning real good not hitting anything not vibrating we're getting a lot of airflow up here so uh, anyway, I, I like that. That's going to be real good.
Well, we have our welder all back together and I've added a little hanger bracket on the side to hang my leads up on before I just kind of wrapped them around the top. And I uh, also got some new caster wheels to put on it. And uh, these have the little locks on it, you know, if you want to lock it in place, keep it from moving around. But anyway, I'll get those installed and uh, we'll get it on the ground and off the cart. Got the four new casters installed and that's going to be nice, easy to roll around. Well, we have the welder all put back together and back in service. And I tell you what, that's like an old friend. Glad I got it back and going. And uh, so we're looking forward to the next project that we use it on. So as always, folks, I appreciate y'all coming by the shop. This is Rusty Glove Box. Thanks for watching, and I'm out of here.